Hey, what's going on guys? I'm gonna show you a quick and easy fix for your Dyson V6 cordless vacuum. This precise model number is gonna be for the battery replacement for the, the SV04 V6, but the same method applies on the V6s, the V7s. It's very simple and easy to do, which is really nice. I have my replacement battery here. I will try to link this in the description box below. Just make sure that if you have the SV04 or the different model numbers, you're picking up the correct battery for your model number, which is located underneath your vacuum. Mine is right there. Yours might say DC54 or something like that just make sure you're getting the correct battery. Now, one of the reasons why you probably want to do this fix is it's not performing as it was. It might be performing 50%, 60, 70% of what it used to. It just doesn't last as long. What's happening is there's probably one cell in this battery pack right here that is going bad, maybe two cells, and it's just not getting enough juice, enough power in there. Now, if you're really handy DIY, you can take apart the battery pack, re-spot weld in a new 18650 cell. These are the same cells as in a Tesla car battery pack, but the easiest thing to do is just purchase a battery. This is actually a third-party one. This is not even a Dyson Genuine, but these are the model numbers that it's for right here. And you take off that pack right there, and it's not 100% matching. Uh, you do have these little kind of uh, little frivolous here, and this one doesn't, but you do have an LED indicator light. This one got good reviews, and again, I'll have it linked in the description box below. And this one is actually upgraded to 3000 milliamps, 64.8 WH, using more high capacity milliamp batteries. This particular one is at 2100 milliamp, 46. So this should last longer than the original battery pack. Okay, so we flip the vacuum over here and you see one very small screw right here in the handle portion. Again, right above the charging port here. Go ahead and put a small screwdriver in there, unscrew that. Now with that first screw out, now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to release the red button here for the tank. It's gonna drop the lid, so make sure you're over a trash can if you have stuff in there. And then we're gonna hit it one more time to release the whole entire cartridge. So here we go, we hit it once, we release the cartridge. Now we hit it one more time. Might have to do it with two hands there. You're gonna push that down, and we just saw it move there. And so we're gonna have to use two hands and remove that from the lid there. Like that there, and this is a great time to sanitize and clean your Dyson. Now, the second screw to release the battery is gonna be right where my thumb is, right there. Now make sure you keep these screws because my replacement battery did not come with extra screws. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that screw now, and then your battery pack will slip right out. Pull straight down, and it comes right out. And if you do want to recoup some cost on the battery, you can actually sell these pre-owned on eBay. Just state in your auction listing that it's for parts only, that the battery pack is not as efficient as it once was. And what people do is they purchase these packs to recycle the 18650 cells for e-bike batteries, etc. That's only if you want to recoup some of your costs for the new battery or place them out on your curb or next to your trash cans and some recyclers will recycle them. Or if you want to go a step further, put a free ad on Craigslist. People will be more than happy to drive over, collect these from you. Or go to Home Depot and they have a bin where you can toss them in and recycle them for free. Okay, with the old one out, all we do is we're going to go ahead with two hands, insert that back up, screw in this screw, that screw, just like that there, real simple. Just make sure those screws are nice and tight without stripping them. They're both back in there. And then I actually would charge it fully. It probably already has a full charge on there, maybe 80, 90%, but I will go ahead and leave it on the charger for a little bit. Juice those 18650 cells up. And while you're doing that, you could even clean it a little bit. I'm gonna be doing that to this one as well. Great fix for you. Instead of going out and purchasing a brand new one, which costs a lot, go ahead and replace your battery. Don't fix what is not broken 
or fix what is broken. All right, guys, hit that thumbs up button if the video has helped you. Subscribe on your way out. And again, in the description box below, I'll try to have a small screwdriver set. And again, the spare battery, which that's the old one, the spare battery that I purchased and some other parts if you need an extra filter, etc. Just put it back together after you're done cleaning it. Real simple, lock the thing back into place, click it up and you're good to go. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. We'll see you soon.